Aloha, I live on the island of Kauai, and we have beautiful weather all year long. I want to get out of my car and get into a solar electric bicycle. I live about 10 minutes from work, and the roads are all about like this, about 25 mile per hour speed limit, and I could easily go ahead and ride the bicycle on this type of an area. However, just about 100 yards off to your left, there's a bicycle path that parallels this entire route all the way to my work. Like a lot of us, about 90% of my driving is done in a pretty limited area. I'm only about two miles away from my home to work, and my weekly shopping trips take me on a big loop, if you will, about 16 miles round trip. And that's the largest trip that I would need to take in a vehicle like this. Considering the amount of money that I spend on vehicle repairs and gas for a mid-sized vehicle, I think that there are some great opportunities to save some money here as well as give me an opportunity for some exercise. If you want to buy an e-bike, be prepared to spend about $1,000 to $2,500 for one of the nicer ones. There are some really neat models that are available off the shelf. This is a nice fat tire bike with the signature fat tires that help to give you a real cushy ride. It has a battery that's set right in the middle of the frame with a controller behind it. And it's got a rear wheel drive hub motor helping to give you plenty of power. This bike looks like it'd be a lot of fun both on and off road. Although there are some entry level e-bikes available for around $800 now, be prepared to spend as much as two to $3,000 for a really nice one. Another option is to buy a conversion kit and upgrade one of your existing bicycles. The conversion kits can run $150 to $300, and then you'll also need to get a battery. That can run anywhere from $400 on up, depending on how big of a battery you want to get. Some advantages of this approach are you can save some money, and you also get to build on a bike that you're already comfortable with. Our coastal bike path runs for miles. It goes through town, but it also goes through these beautiful areas of coastline. An electric bicycle would help me to take more advantage of these areas. In addition, it would be great to have some kind of a canopy overhead to provide some protection from the sun and also from the frequent showers that come through. And you gotta remember that not every day in Hawaii is perfectly sunny. We get a lot of overcast days as well. So I wanna use this bike for commuting to work, running errands, and having fun. Because of this, the bike's gotta have enough power and range for me to feel safe driving in traffic and be able to get where I need to go and get home. It'd also be nice to have some protection from the elements because we get a lot of sunshine and rain, so having some shade and some protection from that would be wonderful. I'd also like to be able to carry a second passenger and maybe some cargo, and of course I want this thing to be comfortable to ride. There are some commercially produced options that would fit all of these criteria, but they're not sold here in the islands. To get one shipped in would arrive with a total cost of about $8,000. So I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and build something like this, and that way I can customize it and keep my costs maybe at around $1,500. Here are some of the more interesting designs that I've come across during my time researching online. As some of you know, I'm building a boat, and I like the idea of building something with no metal or wood so that it can last for a long time in our punishing climate. So now I'm toying with the idea of using PVC pipes for the frames and reinforcing them with fiberglass for sufficient strength, and then covering the entire thing over with a fiberglass skin to create an integrated body and frame structure. Of course, it's got to be strong enough to hold the weight of people and cargo and batteries and all that kind of good stuff. 
So something like this is percolating up. It would have to be no wider than three and a half feet to fit on the bike path and no longer than eight feet. So in the spirit of being on a remote island and everything being very expensive and difficult to get here, I want to go ahead and be as creative as I can in using existing materials. Some things I can't create like that. So I've gone ahead and ordered a, a conversion kit from China. This is through the AliExpress system, which is basically like Amazon, but the Chinese version of it. And it's um, under $200. It's a thousand watt motor, comes with a tire on it and a controller and the brake system and a, a little LCD display. Everything I need to do a complete conversion. In addition to that, I'm getting a battery shipped over from Oahu. This is gonna be a 48 volt battery and I'm still choosing between a 20 and 25 amp hour battery. This should give me plenty of range and power for the designs that I wanna do.